Hi, it's Kerry. I've got African animals today. I'm taking a few at a time to save a bit of time. The African lion. This is a male lion. It's one of the jumbo animal ranges made by Safari. Another male lion and he's really roaring and I like the little scar on the side of his face. The male lion's role is to protect the boundaries of the pride and look after all the females and the cubs. The lioness. Her main job is to hunt. They go out in packs and find an animal they want to hunt and work together to bring it down. to look after itself totally until it's about two years old. This is a little boy cub. And these are my gerbils. They like sniffing around and sniffing each other by the looks. I'll pop them back and get some more animals. Can you tell me what animal is the okapi related to? Okapi is the one at the back on the yellow background with the stripy legs. The meerkat family. They live in burrows underground and they always have someone on the lookout for danger. This is the meerkat sentry. He'll bark and alert the others if there's any danger coming towards them. A baby crocodile. I love that green eye. The baby crocodiles, as soon as they hatch, are able to fend for themselves and look for food. An adult crocodile. Have a look at those jaws. They like to take their prey by surprise. They lie quietly in the water with just their nostrils out. They will quickly grasp the prey and bring it down into the water and roll it over and over until it drowns. The African elephant. I love those large ears. They're really handy for keeping the elephant cool. It will flap its ears when it gets too hot. and I'll get some more animals. The African rhinoceros. It has two horns. The Indian or Asian rhinoceros only has a single horn and quite different skin on its body. A rhinoceros will charge when under attack. The rhinoceros calf. The okapi is the only living relative of the giraffe. Okapi has dark purple or reddish brown velvety fur with white horizontal stripes on their front and hind legs. Their tongue is 18 inches long and can reach both its eyes and ears. The albino gorilla. It is caused by an abscess or defect of the enzymes. The pigment that gives skin, hair and eyes their colours. The most famous one was called snowflake and lived in a zoo in Barcelona. Animals. The hippopotamus. 
part of this. It loves to wallow in water to keep cool. It bounces along the bottom of river beds to move. It's much easier than walking on land. Of an evening though, they like to get out of the water and go search for food. The baby hippopotamus is called a calf. They are herbivores. Breezy zebra is the largest of the equus. It has a long head and neck and slender legs. The glossy coat is patterned with black and white stripes that are much narrower than those of the plain zebra and travel down the legs to the hooves. The tall upright mane is also striped in a pattern that continues on from the neck. The river otter, they love to play and splash around in the river. They're such fun loving animals. This is a dromedary camel. It has a single hump. The hump contains fatty tissue reserves which can be converted to water or energy when required. They can survive up to six months without food or water by using up these fatty stores. A large camel can drink around 30 gallons or 113 litres in just 13 minutes, making them able to rehydrate faster than any other mammal. Camels are well suited to the hot sandy deserts they roam in. Their thick coat insulates them from the heat and also lightens during the summer to help reflect the heat. Their long eyelashes, ear hair and closable nostrils keep the sand from affecting the camel while their wide feet help them move without sinking into the sand. ring-tailed lemur with its baby on the back. They're really good when they're in a group, they keep their tails in the air. They spend a lot of time on the ground foraging for food. This is a shoe bill, named after its bill. It's a really nice model, I like the grey colour and I like the beak, it's very realistic. Pink flamingo is a filter feeder. To find food, they stick their bill on the water upside down. It fills up with water, then they pump the water out. And anything left behind, like prawns or krill or algae, is what they then eat. Spotted hyenas are scavengers, and they're also skilled hunters. They can take down a wildebeest or even an antelope. They also kill and eat birds, lizards, snakes, and insects. They have very good hearing and sharp eyesight at night. The giant eland antelope. It's the largest antelope. The coat is reddish brown in colour with several white stripes. Both sexes have spiralled horns which are relatively straight. The horns can grow up to 4 feet or 120 centimetres in length. Females are smaller and lighter than males with shorter horns. The giraffe. A giraffe is always on the lookout for predators and its height does help with this. Their most vulnerable time is when they're bending down drinking. ending coming up soon.
Here's travel. Remember to tap the bell icon to be notified when my next new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching my video. Please share my videos with your friends. See you again soon.